Welcome back, everyone, to another deep dive. You know, as listeners of the HIV RNA Test Guide podcast, you're already super familiar with the importance of testing and staying informed about HIV with that incredible network of over 4,500 testing labs across the U.S. But today we're diving into a question that I know is on a lot of minds out there. Is a true cure for HIV actually on the horizon? And could this therapy called AGT-103T be a key part of making that happen? That's the big question we're tackling today. And you know, for people living with HIV, that idea of a cure that goes beyond just managing the virus, it's a huge source of hope. And AGT-103T has definitely entered that conversation in a big way. It has, and it's so important because while antiretroviral therapy, RT, has been absolutely groundbreaking, right? It lets people with HIV live long, healthy lives, but it does require that lifelong commitment to taking medication every single day. And as amazing as RT is, it doesn't actually eliminate the virus from the body. It keeps it suppressed. And that's why the search for a cure is so incredibly important for so many people. You're absolutely right. And that's where AGT-103T, uh, developed by American Gene Technologies, is really interesting because it takes this totally new approach using gene and cell therapy it's about working with the body's own defenses in a really targeted way. Yeah, so this isn't like a traditional pill you take. It's actually about taking a patient's own T cells. Those are the immune cells that HIV attacks and weakens and then modifying them genetically so they're resistant to HIV infection. It's like giving your immune system a shield against the virus. That's a great way to think about it. The aim here is what's often called a functional cure. And I think that's important to understand. It doesn't necessarily mean getting rid of every single trace of HIV in the body, which is a huge challenge, but it's about getting the person's immune system strong enough to control the virus without needing to be on AT all the time. Right. You know, it's kind of like managing diabetes with insulin. It's not a total cure, but it lets the body function well. Okay, so we've got this innovative therapy, AGT-103T, that's aiming for a functional cure. But what's really got people's attention are the early results they did a phase one clinical trial, right? What were some of the big takeaways from that early research? So there were a couple of really encouraging things that came out of that phase one trial. First, they saw some pretty impressive increases in HIV specific CD4 plus T cells in the people who received the therapy. And we're talking about increases that range from ninefold to a whopping 300 fold within just 14 days of getting the therapy. So that tells us that the therapy is having a real impact and it's working differently for different people. But even on the lower end, that nine fold increase, that's still a big boost to the body's natural defenses. Wow, that is a remarkable jump. So these modified T cells weren't just surviving, they were actually multiplying significantly and they were specifically targeting HIV. Exactly, and maybe even more encouraging was how long that effect lasted. They saw these higher levels of HIV specific CD4 plus T cells lasting for up to six months, which suggests that the genetic changes they made to the cells were stable and the cells were doing their job. So that six month mark is really interesting because it gives us a hint that this therapy might have a longer term impact than some other experimental treatments. Yeah, that sounds like a really positive and lasting response against HIV, a real step forward. And what about safety? That's always a huge concern with any new treatment. Oh, absolutely. And the phase one trial also showed that AGT-103T was generally well tolerated. The people in the study didn't experience any serious side effects that were connected to the therapy. And that early safety data is so crucial as they move on to bigger and longer studies. So it sounds like there are good signs on both sides. The therapy seems to be working like it's supposed to, and it has a good initial safety profile. So where do things stand now with AGT-103T? What's happened since that phase one trial wrapped up? Well, after those encouraging phase one results, American Gene Technologies got the green light from an independent review board to start what are called analytic treatment interruption or ATI studies. And that's a big deal. Can you break down what that means for our listeners, analytic treatment interruption? That means the people in these studies would temporarily stop taking their regular HIV medication, right? Yeah, that's right. The main goal of these ATI studies is to figure out if AGT-103T can control the virus all by itself without needing ART. It's a key test to see if it can truly deliver on that functional cure idea. So that's a big step, but a necessary one to really understand if AGT-103T could be a standalone treatment option. Are there any other big developments happening with this therapy? There is another significant development. American Gene Technologies actually spun out a whole new company called Adimmune, and Adimmune is going to be completely focused on developing and eventually making AGT-103T available to people. So that kind of dedicated effort and investment often means they're really serious about getting this therapy to people who need it. 
That makes a lot of sense. By creating a separate company, they can really put all their energy and resources into this specific treatment. And I understand Adamine is already planning the next phase of clinical trials. Yep. They're working on the protocol for a phase two clinical trial right now. And this next phase is super important because it will include a larger and more diverse group of participants. And it will give us way more data about how well the therapy works and how safe it is over a longer period of time. And any idea on the timeline for this phase two trial? When might we see some early data coming out? The latest information suggests they're aiming to finish collecting data for the phase two trial by late 2024 or early 2025. So the next couple of years are going to be crucial for understanding the long-term potential of AGT-103T. Late 2024, early 2025, that feels like it's right around the corner in terms of medical research. I bet a lot of our listeners in the HIV RNA Test Guide podcast community are going to be following this very closely. Absolutely. But you know, it's really important to remember that those phase one results while super encouraging and the steps they're taking are promising, we still need to be realistic for the research. Especially the data from these phase two trials is absolutely essential to confirm long-term effectiveness and safety. We can't say for sure that a cure is right around the corner in 2025 based on what we know right now. Yeah, it's key to manage expectations. I mean, this is a big step forward, no doubt, but the research process is thorough for a reason. We need that solid data to really grasp the full impact of this therapy. Exactly. But what's truly exciting here is what AGT-103T represents in the bigger picture. Yeah. You know, it highlights the incredible possibilities of gene and cell therapy in the fight against HIV. This mm -hmm. whole approach of tweaking a person's own cells to fight the virus. It's a totally new way of thinking about treatment, and its progress could have a big impact on how we approach HIV in the future. This has been such an informative deep dive into AGT-103T. It's clear that these early findings are giving a lot of hope to the HIV research community, and I'm sure to our listeners who are always eager for updates. You said it, those big increases in HIV-specific CV4 plus T cells and the good tolerability in the phase one trial, those are really noteworthy findings. And the fact that Adam Yoon is already moving forward with ATI studies and planning a phase two trial, it shows they're serious about exploring its potential as a functional cure. So just to recap the key points for everyone listening, AGT-103T is a gene and cell therapy that modifies a patient's own T cells to resist HIV. The phase one trial showed significant and lasting increases in those HIV fighting T cells for up to six months and the therapy was well tolerated. The next big steps are the analytic treatment interruption studies and a planned phase two trial with results expected sometime in late 2024 or early 2025. Exactly right. And while these developments are encouraging, it's crucial to remember that more research is needed to confirm long-term effectiveness and safety. The phase two trials are going to be really important. It definitely gives us a lot to think about. This exploration of AGT-103T really sheds light on the incredible progress happening in HIV research. It makes you think about the wider implications of gene and cell therapy, not just for HIV, but maybe for other tough medical conditions too. What other possibilities could this kind of approach open up in the future? That's a great question, and it really highlights how important this research is. The progress we're seeing with AGT-103T, oh, yeah. it's a glimpse into a future where these kinds of innovative therapies could completely change how we deal with complex diseases. Well, thank you so much for walking us through this deep dive. For our listeners out there in the HIV RNA Test Guide podcast community, staying up to date on these breakthroughs is so important. We're going to keep following the progress of AGT-103T and other advances in the fight against HIV. And we're committed to bringing you the latest reliable information as it becomes available. Until our next deep dive, thanks for joining us. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.